eyebrow pencil and trust the process. That looks oh forgive me, father, but I gotta take a chance. Oh, I'm already gone, so blessed. Pray for me. Hey everybody, hey fam, bam, how you doing? Oh good. I hope you're doing fantastic. In today's video, I am going to be doing my full faces in products that I actually kind of, I think I forgot about them. Did I forget about them? Products that I feel like I've been neglecting. Now, I do know that over the past few months, I didn't really been doing makeup as much. But when I did, went back to doing makeup like I usually would and whatnot, even a little bit. There's some products that I just didn't really reach for, you know? So that's what this video is about. If you're new to my channel, my name is Esther, aka Mr. Back J, and I do videos like this once in a while. Basically, I call them um, full face using products I've neglected or using neglected products video. I don't know. Anyway, just make sure you subscribe if you get to subscribe to this channel and if you like watching foundation test videos and whatnot where I test foundations and give you guys my recommendation and other wear test make sure you subscribe turn on notification thumbs up this video if you like it we call each other fan bam over here by the way how are you guys doing I hope you're doing good okay currently it's 9 55 in the morning so I'm getting ready for school and um that's me yes i have a new hair this hair took me through the ringer literally i thought i wasn't gonna get here but thank god i did it went from black to this and before i could even get here i honestly i don't even know let's not let's not even get into it my eyes are a little bit red i don't know why anyway um and i'm trying something new in my lights let me know what you think is it too dark was it too bright or is it just perfect let me know i went through my drawer last night and i picked up all these products and i've got them right in front of me so naturally let's just start with brows my face is already washed and moisturized and whatnot lips is also nice and moisturized okay and um i found this actually in in my suitcase um because i have a suitcase in my bedroom that literally like i put everything that i don't know where they're gonna go into i, I, I don't even know if i explained that right so i found this in my mary Kay bag inside the suitcase this is the mua academy mua makeup academy eyebrow pen pencil pencil eyebrow pencil in the shade brunette and it also has a spoolie at the end i honestly don't even remember using this i probably used this in a video and this is apparently has six months shelf life interesting so i'm just gonna do, go ahead and do my brows with it i don't even remember how i felt about it but when i was sharpening it last night i was like hmm this this doesn't this doesn't doesn't you know nah, anyway i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows with it the pencil is a bit thick isn't it just gonna fill it in okay just do that i'm gonna use the spoolie that's really nice but the pencil itself like the wax is too waxy <laughs> yeah yeah that does make sense why am i laughing at myself ah hello day i just digest myself you know hmm. i don't see this lasting either because it's this it's too too smooth i literally do not remember using this uh, i have flash of memory running across my forehead <laughs> right now <laughs> where i still don't remember all right so i don't see this lasting at all i'm just gonna do something here okay just gonna grab got to be gel i know don't worry this is safe for me do it at your own risk Gonna come okay all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and clean it up we're going to clean it up so that way it can look you know our life can look more put together than it looks you know in the facade <laughs> concealer just makes everything look better this brow product i'm not gonna be reaching for it all the time that's probably why it's still this long because usually if i like a brow pencil it would be really short literally so and it's probably this long because i just chucked it in the suitcase as well and i probably should chuck it in the suitcase because i didn't really like it so let's put it to the side. But I'm going to finish it. So it came all the way from London. We have to finish it. And I've had it for two years. So. Uh -huh. Next product. Let's do eyeshadow since we already, we already primed our lid. And this one, like, I, I have a lot of, I don't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. But I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes in this drawer right here. The table that I'm banging right now. Okay. That I literally have not been um, touching at all in a long time but i wanted to use this one this is the revolution pro regeneration trends mischief matte palette okay i showed this in the abh riviera palette video and um ever since then i've just been like well i, have, I actually haven't used this since i actually i think i've only used this twice when i did the video on it and um when i wasn't doing a video on it i think i don't know so we're just gonna go ahead and use it i like this palette if memory serves me right i like it i think i don't know i'm going to go into the shade 
half time this one right here has a bit of a red tint to it using a small blending brush by Ovoni. i wish that palette came with a mirror let me come close Ooh. okay i'm gonna apply this in my crease i'm going to school so i'm trying to do something simple but i can't trust myself okay here we go what am i gonna do what do i want to do next i'm gonna go into the shade Rec ricochet whatever the shade right here pick it up and i'm gonna pat it in the outer corner I don't know what I'm going to do, but let's grab Hunted. This one right here, still with the same brush. I don't know why it's looking brighter on camera, but it's a bit deeper. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's because I brought it too close to my ring lights. But yeah, the shade. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but once we touch the eye, we will know. Okay, I guess I'm just putting it right here. Just in the lower part right here, close to my lash line. Yeah, I didn't know that's what I was going to do. But I just let my fingers, my hand do the, do the work, you know? Let it, let it do the work and trust the process. Okay, I don't know what I just did. I don't know what I just did, but all I know is I don't know what I'm going to do next. Okay, let's just grab this concealer. There's really no product in here. What am I doing? I'm just gonna grab a little bit of concealer. It's the Fenty Beauty concealer. I'm gonna grab my concealer brush and I think, I think I just wanna slightly cut the crease just right there. But not like a full cut. Just to cover that area that I haven't put shadow yet, I think. I think, I think that's what I want to do. <laughs> All right, yep, I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to school, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Esther, okay, let's grab a brush. Let's just roll with it and just trust the process, you know what I'm saying? Just um, don't worry and be happy, you know? It's okay, life, life, life is, life is, life shouldn't be that hard. Just, just, just simple. What do I do now? Should I put yellow in here or orange? Let, let me test both orange yellow i don't know i guess we're doing orange does this kind of look neon from far away oh my god i'm gonna shade it a little bit there oh my god okay I, i'm still gonna change something just wait and see okay I don't know what I'm doing though. I'm going back into Haunted and I'm just going to shade the color back at the end here. And I'm still using that one brush. This one brush that I used to blend everything. The trick is finding the brush that just fits perfectly into everything and just wipe it in between. Even if you don't, if you mix the color, that's part of being creative. Like it's being an artist. You're an artist. <laughs> just blending into that orange. This looks good when I open my eyes. Like if my wooden eye is not in the way. <gasps> that looks good. That look I said that looks good. That looks Oh. Do you see do you, do you see it? Are you looking? Squint. Can you see? That looks good. <gasps> I'm going to school. What did my lecturer say? My lecturer already thinks we have flaky brows and then he sees my eyes and he be like by the way, the orange shade that I used is the shade Daydream. Just like how everyone is going to do it, like when you see my eyes today. I don't know who I think I am, but this one right here. Oh, oh, wow. I haven't said that in a long time. Okay. I want this yellow here. Nope. I am going to grab a glitter liner. I want to grab a yellow right here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm using the Sephora fingertip eyeliner in the shade Metallic Gold. I'm going to put it up here. And I am good for time. So I can feel it in the air tonight. Oh Lord. I mean this morning. Oh Lord. <laughs> I'm going to stop where the orange is. Esther, we said we're stopping where the orange is. Why did you have to go? Are, are you okay? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I would say I'm sorry, but I really am not. I think I'm happy. All right. Should we do the lashes after? I think I want to do the lashes after. We'll do the lashes later. All right. Let's go ahead and do the, the face because I've been talking for literally, I've been talking for 26 minutes. All right. With the face, I found this primer. I was like, wow, it's been a while. I think I've only used this like twice or three times. First time in the video. I don't remember the other times. So this is the primer face perfecting stick primer. I bought this in London. The price is actually still on it. £2.50. Is it still good? Oh, it has a 24 month shelf life. I think I just don't really use this because I, I, I don't, I don't see any face perfecting. <laughs> My face is already perfect, but I don't see any face perfecting. 
my face is not perfect but it's like it's perfect because i was made in god's image and it's not perfect because earth has ruined my face a little bit with the pollution and the acne yeah you know what i mean yeah by the way ignore this boy right here it, i call it the boy because it's problematic it's just slip and slide to be honest this guy, yeah. i mean it feels nice on the face my face feels nice and smooth doesn't even look smooth i think and i think this is why i always feel when i when i use it like like i don't I don't know so i hope this my makeup is gonna last today because i don't think this has any lasting properties to it you know i actually brought out a few brushes to use but i only used two brushes today this one by Avoni, just a small blending brush and this one by elf so that's nice let's put it back foundation oh my lord this foundation i think i've only used it twice i can't why am i shouting i've only used this twice this is the tarte amazonian clay 12 hour full coverage foundation fond detente au coveteur complete avec 12 hour de telegon and amazonie this one right here <laughs> okay this is in the shade deep honey see it is still very full and this comes in 50 mils. I did a foundation test on this foundation a couple of years back. So that was the first time I used it. I don't even remember using it. I don't know. I think that was the second time I used it because I got it sampled the first time and then I, I don't know. Well, all I know is I haven't been using it. And I, from memory, I think I liked it. I think it lasted a long time from memory. And this is what the shade Deep Honey looks like. Ignore that. And it's um kind of moussey in texture. Oh, this smells way better than that stupid foundation stick they had that just smelled like soap. I, I hated that smell. I think I still have that foundation stick somewhere. Real Techniques Face and Body Sponge. Did you guys see that shade? Beauty Blender posted recently. <laughs> <sighs> there's some things that just shouldn't be done where did you go where did you go i need to know i just want you on my face but i don't see you right now i don't see it and they say full coverage i think i might have used the brush let me use a brush I'm gonna bring it down because the undertone of this one kind of look a little bit pinkish don't it I don't know. I can't really say why I don't really reach for it. Not because I hated it. You know, I just have other foundations that I reach for first. And I always look at this, but I always kind of brush past it. I don't know. It's not terrible. It's really nice, actually. It has a nice skin-like finish, and it's definitely better with a brush. Use a smaller brush, because my forehead is small. <laughs> I don't know why I life life <laughs> smile. Love the finish. Medium coverage, but love the finish. 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 Yes. Yes, I'm going to put that in this drawer so I can use it more. It's not matte, but I love that finish. I'm going to put it in my drawer. That's Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour full coverage foundation. Tarte been messing up with the shade and whatnot. And this one, I don't think they have a lot of shades in here. I think this is the one before the last shade, or maybe they added a couple. I'm not really quite sure. I hope they did. But that's a really, really, really beautiful, beautiful finish. Look at this. Beautiful. I just want you to know that you're my favorite girl. There's something about you. Look at this. All right, let's go ahead and do concealer. Oh my gosh, when I saw this in my drawer yesterday, I was like, oh, I've missed you, girl. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, but in the shade 40 Caramel. Caramel. I used to use um Cafe, 30 Cafe or 35 Cafe or whatever, but then it kind of discontinued and, and brought another shade. So I remember buying this shade, but wow, it's still quite full. But I haven't really been using it. I've mainly been reaching for Tarte Shape Tape Concealer mixed with Colourpop. Yeah, that's what's in my drawer here, actually. My everyday drawer. Oh, I used to love this concealer. I mean, I still love it, but I mean, like, I used to love it that I wouldn't use anything else. I'll use it. A and when I notice that it's finishing, I'll go to the store and buy two more and just to have backup on backup, you know? But the thing is, if you keep doing that, you won't open yourself to trying to try other concealers. I can't speak, but that's the running theme on my channel. I can never speak. Now that I've tried other concealers, I can say that I don't really like this applicator. It's too small. Like it's too, it's too, too, too small. <laughs> hmm. Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. This is good. This is too bright for school. <laughs> Let me add a little bit of the foundation color in there. I just switched and then I'll go back. I still like it. It's still really nice. Okay. Better than Fenty, I tell you. In my opinion. All right. Powder. Girl, 
I used to love using this powder. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. Okay, I love this, love this. I think I just loved my um, Sasha Buttercup setting powder more and Derma Blend setting powder more. But literally the Sasha Buttercup is in my drawer now and I've put the Derma Blend back in the cupboard over there because I've been using it a lot and there's literally like a little bit left. And I, I, by a little bit, I mean like a lot of bit, but not, but not like a lot, a lot, but like a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to set my lid my under eye jelly yes 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 and if you're worried about flashback or things like that you won't get it with this powder okay and it looks nice in pictures and whatnot so don't worry be happy taking the rest everywhere but just a little bit don't go like packing a lot and dumping it all over your face either you know beautiful i just want you to know that you're my favorite girl there's something about you. Let me go ahead and bronze and blush, and then we're gonna come back to the next product. And I'm gonna put lashes on as well. <laughs> I just hit my eyes. Okay, now to highlight. I dropped something. To highlight, I found this. I was like, oh my God. I haven't used this in a while. This is the Jackie I know X Addy Scooter. I know you didn't expect me to say that, did you? You probably did did because it's probably in the thumbnail anyway this is jackie and i x adequator diamond glow powders in the shade le bronze and le peach i haven't really been using both of these i think i want to use le peach because of my hair it's a bit more rose gold okay i think i'll use this i'll use le bronze and i'm literally gonna use what what you know the dust in the cap because this is <laughs> pigmented okay i'm just using the dust in the cap and <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i know i hear you i know and i'm still using the dust in the pan hm. this thing is just it's disrespectful it's rude it's very rude you're very rude right now all right so for lips let's wipe off the lid glue. I pulled out MAC. I don't remember the last time I used this. This is the MAC Retro Matte Lipstick in a shade Burnt Spice. Yes, yes, this is. I only have two, Carnivorous and Burnt Spice. And Carnivorous is red-ish. I'm gonna use the eyebrow pencil, why not? I'm gonna line my lips. Okay, I love this thing. This lipstick, love it. It's nice and long lasting, very comfortable on the lip. It's kind of matte, but very comfortable matte, and it smells so good. My gosh. What do you think? Is it good? I think we'll leave it like that. I think it's good. We're looking pretty. Okay, I'll be back. done i added a little bit of mole on my pimple okay that wouldn't go away but here we are honestly babes i love this look that i created right now i did not plan it it just happened i let my finger do the talking i trusted the process okay and um i'm feeling myself i think it's this hair i think this hair kind of inspired me a little bit ignore my edges i didn't want to like do like baby hair whatever because i was like mm. It's okay, nobody got time for that, okay? And I put a little bit of curl, just like um, Stephanie, um, you know, suggested. And I was like, okay, and I, I, I like it, I like it. <laughs> anyway, um, I need to go to school, it's 11.35 now. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, babes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up this video, comment down below, okay? Let me know what video you'd like to see from me next. I do have a few videos planned. Do you, have you guys tried the Flower Beauty range? I'm thinking of trying that because that range is actually in australia so if you are interested please let me know if you're not then i'll just do another video instead but i think i want to try their range i don't know you know the fly beauty range by drew barrymore yeah that one exactly okay so anyway i hope you have a great day or a great night or oh, you had a great day okay thank you so much for watching i am feeling myself i need to get off the camera so i don't become too conceited all right thanks for watching once again thanks for watching as always whatever you're doing to love yourself and i'll see you in my very next video bye Ooh. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> All right. Look there. Where's the hair? What am I doing? Feeling myself. Feeling myself. 
feeling myself, feeling myself, feeling myself. I just can't get a good photo. That's my issues. 